simple simulation of the experiment. You can see a breadboard coming over here and the same circuit is put there. There is one 3.9K, there is another 4.7K which is R3 and the R2 is 8.2K and your load resistance is 3.3K. That is connected to your voltage source on this side and the output is connected to your multimeter on this side and the circuit also for simply so far uh, reference is shown here at the bottom corner. Now, you have to measure the thevenins. We will do both. We will measure and we will also calculate. Let us do measure thevenins voltage. Once I click, you know what we have to do? We have to open circuit. That means we have to remove the RL. So I go there and click on the RL. RL is gone. Now I will have to measure the voltage using the voltmeter. For before that, I should switch on the power supply. So I switch on the power supply, switch on the multimeter. Now start applying voltage by using these buttons, increase button. I will apply, let us say, 10 volts because that is what we started with. So I apply now 10 volts for this circuit and measure the voltage across the load terminal after removing the load. And you can see the voltage on the multimeter is 6.78, which is what we calculated in the previous uh, slides. So the Thevenin's equivalent resistance is very simple. Just remove the load, connect a voltmeter, switch on the power supply and measure, you find it is 6.78. Okay. Now we have to measure the, uh, if you want to see how it comes, you can go and look at here, you can see the whole thing. If I apply 5 volts, the Thevenin's equivalent voltage will be 3.39. When you apply 10 volts, the Thevenin's equivalent is 6.78. Now we will switch off the voltage sources. We will go ahead to measure the Thevenin's voltage, the resistance with R Thevenin, for example. We will have to calculate R Thevenin. We know the rule. The rule is replace the power supply with a shard. So when I click here, you find this point is connected to the ground by using a sharting wire and the power supply is disconnected. Now I have only three resistors. The RL is removed under open circuit condition. I will measure what is the resistance here. So I will switch on uh, only the resistance. So I will switch on the multimeter. Immediately you can see it comes into resistance mode and it measures about 7.343 ohms. So this is the Thevenin's equivalent resistance and the calculation is shown here. R Thevenin is nothing but R3 and R1, R2 in parallel combination. So now we have measured both the Thevenin's resistance and Thevenin's voltage. Now we have to go and measure what is the Thevenin's output across the load. So the circuit now is simplified. You can see the voltage is connected here and there is only this 7343. That is a Thevenin's resistance. This is a Thevenin's voltage source now. We will have to set it for 6.78 volts and this is the load resistance 3.3K. Now we will switch on the power supply source and the thing and then you will increment immediately. The voltage comes out to be 6.78 which is the Thevenin's voltage we have set, we have measured and therefore I set this for 6.78 and I just measure the output voltage across the load to be 2.1 volt which is what we calculated in the previous example. You can see that six, the output voltage is also shown in this table easily. You can see that it is about 2.1 volt. Now we will switch off the power supply and the multimeter 